All right, people, welcome back to another card review. So, like I said, hopefully by this time next week, we should have our bonus uh, tag duels, daily duels up. So you're losing a card review, but you're getting another tag duel. You know, uh, it was pretty much undisputed. No one was in disagreement. Everybody's like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and get another tag. So, of course, the card review will be getting cut down to one only on Mondays. But for now, you get an additional card review. So it just, for some reason, it seems like this is Klee week. You know, on uh, Monday, I went ahead and talked about, you know, wavering guys that kind of busted in Klee's. Then on Tuesday, you, for DM the commentary, you got to see that Klee's in action with wavering eyes in the first turn killer drop. And now on Wednesday, not only do you get Cleats and daily duels, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a card to go ahead and kill killer. Yes, I'm gonna give you a card to kill killer because uh, you know that first time killer is definitely a bitch. So uh, of course one method you can go ahead and kill it killer with is um, you know Diamond Crab King. You know Diamond Crab King is uh, a nice card to go ahead and put in your extra deck if of course you are in uh, you know like what in the United States because I think outside of the United States like in Europe I don't think they have diamond so. The snuggles are real, so yeah, we can't go down that route. And also, a big problem, I'm not sure if other Cleese decks are running this, but because my deck is so turbo and so fast, uh, nine times out of ten, not only am I going to go ahead and get, uh, you know, my killer first turn on you, but because I'm turbo into my deck, I'm probably going to get into my trap cards. And my trap cards are, yes, Skill Drain, Vanity's Emptiness, and Lose One Turn. So any of those five cards will stop you in your tracks before you can make that, uh, that Crab King and try to crash into my killer. So... You're fucked. So, uh, there's got to be another way, right? So, of course, this card actually here is a TCG exclusive. Uh, everybody looked over and was like, eh, it's okay, but it's not that good. And it ends up being the exact card that you can go ahead to, and use to kill killer. So, this is Moon Mirror Shield. It is an equip spell that reads, If the equip monster battles an opponent's monster, during damage calculation, the equip monster gains attack and defense equal to, uh, attack and defense become equal to the attack and defense, or whichever is higher, of... Uh, of the opponent's monster that is battling plus 100 during damage calculation only. This phase of card is sent when the field's no good out. You can pay uh, five. I mean, it's not even you can pay. You pay 500 life points to either place it on top of the deck or bottom of the deck. That is a mandatory effect. So it's pretty clear that you will never lose a battle with this card. You will always win the battle. As long as that monster is equipped with this card, you will win a battle because you always gain their attack or defense with every higher and then plus 100. So it's just like, um, like I don't know, it's one of the Wicked's, Wicked Racer or Wicked Avatar, one of them. I think it's Avatar, where, you know, when it battles, it's always 100 attack higher. This is a cut spell of it. And you're probably wondering, well, how does the hell does this help me beat Killer? Because you'll beat Killer by battle, which is one of the ways that you go ahead and beat Killer is by battle. So it doesn't matter what monster you summon, summon a monster, equip it with your um, Moon Mirror Shield. You're going to attack into the Killer. Um, you're going to go ahead and go to 3,000 because you're going to go ahead and equal to attack plus 100. You killed Killer. Killer's only uh, uh, 3,000, and you're going to go to 3,100. So there you go. You just killed Killer. Simple as that. <coughs> and it's, it's interesting that, you know, everybody will overlook this card and really didn't even connect the numbers and connect the dots and be like, oh, yeah, this card can kill Killer. It's, 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 it's as simple as that, guys. So... Like I said, uh, depending on how the list goes, like I said, this is actually recorded before the ban list. But depending on how the list goes, and if please go in touch with, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, uh, clearly Konami is still doing research and looking, and um, maybe there's like maybe like one more tournament. I don't really, I don't know what's taking them so long. Maybe there's one more tournament that I don't know about, but. Uh, Cleese, of course, they didn't get their Wavering Eyes Turbo until later in the format, like at the end, essentially. And uh, Cleese were good. I'd definitely say they were deck number three, but it's not like they won, you know? They, you know, they topped a couple, uh, you know, but they didn't win. You know, they, it's not like, you know, Bur Burning Abyss won and uh, Shadal's won in Europe and, you know, Necros are, you know, the the top shit, all the, all the format, you know? So... I can easily see them either not hitting Cleese at all because they'll think, oh, we hit Cleese enough, or, you know, maybe hitting, like, Summoner's Art down to two as a little bit of a hit to Cleese, you know? But I don't even see them, you know, hitting Cleese, and that's going to be a big mistake because, you know, Wavering Eye Cleese is going to be a thing. So next format, uh, don't be surprised that you see a couple of Cleese first turn killing you. So, uh, you know, just like how you have outside the gym lock, it might be smart just to go ahead and, you know, main deck triple of these just so you don't lose first turn maybe maybe because it's not in a bad equip spell you know you will always win a battle so that's not terrible the only problem is that you know the effect is mandatory that when it's sent you have to pay 500 and either place it on top which means that knowing are you guaranteed to drop but then your opponent's going to draw or put it at the bottom which means that you're probably not going to see it again uh, unless you shuffle your deck and draw into it again later but uh 
you know, you're always in a, you always win a battle, which is good, and it's an out to killer. So you know, especially if they go ahead and you know ban the new gen lock, essentially it's killers the new gen lock. You know, because if you don't have the way to go ahead and get rid of this killer, uh. It, you know, pretty much the turn that it's summoned, it's just going to apply too much pressure. You know, not only is uh, Klee's a really pressure heavy deck because, you know, they pendulum summon all their shit goes to the extra deck. You got scout searching every single turn, plusing every single turn. You got, uh, you know, uh, Helix and Carrier, you know, bouncing your shit, popping your back row. You got, uh, you know, uh, Disc summoning monsters from the deck. You got, uh, shell piercing you and double attacking you. You know, it's a lot of pressure, you know? Plus the van used to skill drain to lose one turn. It's a lot of pressure. So, uh, you know, you, you can't leave that killer sitting there. You've got to get rid of him. And, you know, if you go ahead and side deck or main deck, you know, you can side... I, I'd, I'd probably say main deck because uh, it seems like I've, what I've been seeing is uh, some cleaves, some turbo cleaves actually side out back into a regular cleave deck that doesn't drop killers hard and actually, you know, turn into, yeah, let me, uh, you know, one-up you and... and block you out, turn into, like, instead of turning into, like, a turbo, you know, summon my boss monster wind deck, they actually turn it into, like, a more, uh, uh, stun, more, uh, control-heavy deck. So, uh, you know, I'd definitely say go ahead. You know, if it, if it gets protest and Cleese actually turn into the number deck because of Wavering Eyes and the first turn killer, I'd definitely say go ahead and main deck triple, uh, moon mirror shield, and, uh, you know, drop it on because they're gonna first turn kill you and it does it takes a lot of resource if you can get rid of that that around that killer first turn especially if you can go ahead and kill a scout and get rid of the killer you might just win that duel like it's that it's that bad it's that bad because they they devote a lot to something a killer because they're gonna assume that you can't get rid of it and if you can get rid of it you can you can get back into the duel you can easily turn around the duel and win so i definitely recommend it if please actually turn out to be one of the top decks next format go ahead main deck the, the moon mirror shield it's not a terrible card you know uh, it could even be an out to the gin lock. You know, you, they're gonna if the gin lock doesn't get hit, you know, you can go ahead and uh, and they go ahead and gin, you know, sp and lock you with like you know a colossalus or something. Summon a monster, equip it. You know, you're not it's not a monster from that so they can't use a colossalus effect. Attack. They better hope to have it out because you're gonna be gaining that colossalus uh, uh, defense. You know, whatever is higher as your attack and defense because. You know, you'll gain whatever is higher, Colossus, of course, to defend, plus 100, and running that Colossus over. So unless they have a Valk, it gets you out of the Gin Lock, too. So not only does it get you out of the Gin Lock, uh, unless they have a Valk, it also gets you, uh, it kills, it's a killer killer. Uh, not bad card, it's not, you know, everybody overlooked it, and it can definitely save some butts, because uh, it might be helpful. Right, like I said, still waiting on the list, and depending on how the list will depend on how good this card is, but right now it's actually looking really decent. So there you go. I gave you a card to go ahead and kill Killer. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us to light about this card, because we completely forgot about it. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Monday with a, another card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.